this video we will discuss about important parts and basic safety so first firstly I will start with intake filter this is where the compressor draws the air through this filter if the compressor is on you can feel a section suction on this filter through this hole so this is in basically intake filter then you have output from the compressor after it compresses the compressed air is coming out of this compressor from this outlet and it goes into the tank and there is another bypass here it is connected to control pressure switch which monitors the pressure inside the tank and also this one will cut off the compressor if the required pressure is achieved it's like a solenoid valve and also there is manual on and off and below that you can see safety valve this is for manual manual purging if there is in case this malfunctions malfunctions then you have to do manually then this is the capacitor and here here you have a pressure regulator so there is a difference between pressure gauge and pressure regulator pressure gauge gives you the reading of the pressure the actual pressure uh, but the pressure regulator gives you the reading as well as you can adjust the pressure by this knob you can increase and decrease the pressure so you have additional pressure gauge to monitor inside the tank and you have a pressure regulator then you have this oil level where you can see the level of oil inside the compressor basically a compressor is like piston cylinder mechanism and it needs lubrication now here is for uh, draining the moisture inside the tank if the moisture accumulates inside the tank you can remove it through this it's like a drain valve for the moisture those were the important parts now let us come to the basic safety of this compressor so at first when you have a compressor with you first thing what you have to do is if you don't know like for example if you don't know anything about this compressor or whether it be compressor or a pump or any equipment you don't know anything about this so what you do is first thing is relax take a deep breath and then look for nameplate so here is the nameplate for this compressor you can see it here so basically a nameplate is a thing where you get the complete details about this compressor which company produced it when they manufacture it what is the serial number what is the model number what are the specific uh, you know safety aspects or what is the specifications of this compressor so first thing uh, in safety if you discuss about the safety of this compressor first thing you do, should do is always read the nameplate so nameplate will help you to uh, use this compressor safely so the first aspect which I will discuss today now is about the safety so let's uh, see the nameplate so in the nameplate you have this voltage here so it's 120 volt and current is 6.2 amps so if you have this 120 volt and 6.2 amps so this is 120 means you cannot connect it to 220 or else the motor will damage so 120 volt and 6.2 amperes now the problem comes here you are supplied with the compressor okay you buy a new compressor no matter how strong safe and equipped the compressor is but when you buy it 
and you do a simple mistake when is the mistake coming here the mistake is coming from the plug because you buy a compressor from some other country and you bring it and try to connect in some other country so what happens is there are different of there are different systems like american system and british system the plug won't match so in this case we change the plug for this compressor to match our system we are following american systems so to change the plug we change the plug so now here is the problem you just cannot buy any plug and just change it so you should read this one so it was 120 volt and 6.2 amps so the current and the voltage ratings you have so you should buy a plug with higher ratings for example now what's the rating for this plug if you could see I could see 15 amps and 125 volts that this is much higher than this this one was 6.2 and this is 15 amps so it's double almost and it was 120 volts and this is 125 so this, is, this plug is safe to use so lower than this ratings lower than the nameplate readings ratings you should not use that plug and then another aspect is the safety pressure maximum safe pressure is 16 bar so this compressor or, or this tank you should not use it more than 16 bar so the safe pressure is 16, uh, 16 bar if this in any case if the uh, if this control pressure switch malfunctions or stops working or is uh, has an error so you have to purge it manually by using this safety valve that's it if you don't know now you know take care